Hello and welcome. This presentation will outline the services of the Bursar's office. The office is located in Clark Hall on the first floor lobby. On the screen you will find our telephone number, fax number, email address, and physical address. Functions of the Bursar include issuing the billing statements electronically through MyIUP Easy Pay and managing installment payment plans, which will be covered later on in this presentation. The Bursar's office accepts payments in person with cash or check, and they also accept payments online through MyIUP Easy Pay with credit cards and electronic checks. The Bursar's office receives and applies financial aid to student accounts after the ad drop period ends and all financial aid requirements have been met and satisfied. The excess financial aid processed by the Bursar's office is refunded in the form of direct deposit and check refunds. Additionally, if you receive a scholarship, you can send it to the Bursar's office. Please be sure to include your university ID number on the check or award letter. That way, it could be applied to your account. The Financial Terms and Conditions is a promissory note agreement whereby the student accepts full responsibility to pay the tuition and fees associated with registration. It's important to read over this and sign before registration will occur. Additional information can be found on the Bursar's website under Policies, Financial Terms, and Conditions. IUP EasyPay can be accessed through the Finances tab in My IUP. Billing statements are issued by the 29th of each month, with the due date being the 20th of the following month. Authorization can be granted to individuals so they can access your billing information and make payments on your account. Students can set this up through My IUP EasyPay. To do this, select the button that says Add Authorized User and enter the email address for whom you wish to have authorization. After doing so, they will receive an email with a password that will allow them to log in through our website at www.iup.edu backslash bursar. What you're seeing now on the screen is what it will look like. After the authorized user signs in with their email and password, they will be able to view your account to make payments and to set up installment plans. Billing statements are a snapshot in time and do not show any account activity that will occur after the statement date. You can view your account activity on My IEP Easy Pay. Doing this will show itemized charges, financial aid disbursements, and any account activity that has occurred since the statement date. The slide you're seeing now is what the home screen of My IEP Easy Pay will look like. As previously mentioned, to view your account activity, this is where you'll want to be. You'll be able to make payments and enroll in payment plans, and as you can see, it shows what your balance is, the financial aid you are receiving, and your balance after that financial aid is included. This is an example of a student billing statement. Just a quick reminder, statements can be found in My IUP Easy Pay. On the top right-hand side, you will find the statement date, the term in which the statement is occurring, the due date, which will always be the 20th of the following month, and the total amount due. Charges appear on the left-hand side, and the financial aid appears on the right-hand side. Student credits that are greater than the total charges will be reflected by the negative amount under current term balance. This amount is what the Bursar's office is responsible for processing as a refund. This slide provides tuition and fee information for the spring 2021 semester for students who are Pennsylvania residents. Students are encouraged to use the tuition fee cost calculator updated for the spring 2021 semester. You can select the residency and the total number of credits you'll be taking. The cost calculator is available on our website at www.iup.edu backslash bursar. This slide provides the tuition and fee information for the spring 2021 semester for students who reside outside of Pennsylvania. Once again, the tuition and fee cost calculator can be used to determine your spring semester costs. This slide is for students with tuition account programs or other college saving plans. To have funds transferred to IUP from a TAP, you will want to contact the account administrator with a copy of your IUP billing statement. 529 accounts outside of Pennsylvania are billed after we've received authorization to do so. And one thing that's important to note is that payment from a 529 account is sent directly to IUP. The Bursar's office accepts payments in person with cash, check money orders, and cashier's checks. The office also accepts electronic checks and credit cards as long as they are Visa, Discover, and MasterCard. If paying with a credit card, there is a 2.85% convenience fee. 
However, there is no fee for electronic checks. Check payments can also be mailed into the Bursar's office. There are four different payment plans available to students. The first option is a five-month plan, which runs from December through April of the spring semester. The payments are due on the 20th of each month, and there is a $55 installment payment fee for this plan. The second option available to students is the four-month plan. As you can see, this begins in January and runs through April of the spring semester. The payments are due on the 20th of each month, and there's a $50 installment fee for this option. The three-month installment plan begins in February and runs through April. This plan includes a $45 installment payment fee. Lastly, the two-month plan begins in March with a final payment occurring in April. There's a $40 fee associated with this plan. Financial aid refunds are the excess financial aid you have after your balance has been covered. The Bursar's office processes direct deposits twice a week and check refunds twice a month. Because of this, the office encourages direct deposit as the preferred method for refunds. Refunds are tentatively set to disperse for direct deposit on January 28th and on January 29th for checks. If you do opt for paper checks, they will be processed and sent to the mailing address in your account on MyIUP. Student record release authorization allows students to designate to whom their education record information can be shared with. The student must provide each person designated with a secure keyword and phrase they create. Campus employees cannot release any information regarding accounts without both the security keyword and phrase. It's very important that students who want someone to speak to offices on their behalf have those individuals correctly set up with this process. Here's some additional information about the 1098T form as well as a refund policy. This information can be found on our website listed below. Just to wrap up, here is the contact information for the office. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you. Have a great day.